Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about Freewell's new Sherpa line of mobile accessories for the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 Pro models. This kit can help enhance your video and photography with the use of magnetic filters and anamorphic lenses. Freewell designed their Sherpa system around a new phone case for the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14. And I have to say, I am pretty impressed with the quality and engineering of this phone case. While this collection is mostly designed for video and cinematography, I was excited to try making long exposures while shooting in Apple Pro RAW. And we'll get into that why that feature is important later on in this video. So let's review the product line and then head out to a local state park and try the variable ND filter for some long exposure photography. Now, full disclaimer here, Freewell did send me a kit to try in exchange for making this video. Aside from that, they are in no way involved in, making, in the making of this video, nor have they sponsored or paid me. All right, so let's get started here. Let's begin at the core of the system, the phone case. Um, I particularly like this case, especially the engineering detail uh, of the metal mount system where the filter and lenses attach. The case feels good in the hands, offers some decent protection from the screen from raised edges, and offers nice protection for all three lenses which are recessed below the metal mount of the system. The buttons, the buttons are responsive with satisfying travel uh, and they have nice click feedback as well. But if you like cases with uh, harder to push buttons, you may not like these buttons. I do find the case slightly top heavy due to the metal mount system and it certainly adds some weight to the phone, especially if you're used to cases with minimal protection. This case is also MagSafe compatible. Now, as far as I know, this is the only color that Freewell offers at this time, but I imagine that will change in the future as they expand on the line. Currently, the Sherpa line has several filters from a glow mist, snow mist, circular polarizer, and two variable ND one to five stop filters. They also have two anamorphic lenses, a blue and a gold version that accent light flares from brighter lit objects. And finally, to complete this collection, we have a phone grip that acts like an ergonomic camera grip with some added bonus features for versatility and other options that we'll discuss. Now, Freewell did not send me the entire collection. I had wished they sent me the circular polarizer um, as that filter and the variable ND1 five stop would be the two filters I find myself using more than the others. And that's strictly from a photography perspective, not shooting video. Starting with the blue anamorphic lens, which attaches by a notch system in the phone case, unlike filters which attach magnetically to the case, the anamorphic lenses attach by lining up the notches, one larger than the other, and then twisting the lens 180 degrees. As you can see, the anamorphic lens only covers one of the iPhone's three lenses, and it can be used on the wide lens and the telephoto lens, but not the ultra-wide lens. Freewell chose a 1.55 or 2.76 to 1 aspect ratio. So if you're not familiar with anamorphic lenses, it's important to know that anamorphic lenses will squeeze your footage and this footage will need to be de-squeezed in post or by using a third party app such as Filmic Pro. You can apply the de-squeezing while shooting the footage and not have to worry about it in post. This anamorphic kit comes with five screw-on filters for pretty much full control over your shutter and exposure values in just about any light condition. There's one UV filter and four ND filters, an eight, 16, 32, and 64. I should mention here, these can't be stacked. So you can't use the UV filter plus an ND filter simultaneously. And honestly, that's really not a problem. So this lens can be a lot of fun to play with capturing ultra wide scenes. I'm not sure how well this would work for still photography. Say for example, using it for a one and done panel. But honestly, it really wasn't designed for photography per se. It's really catered towards cinematography. And I did find some softness around the edges, which is sort of the nature of the beast when it comes to anamorphic lenses, at least at this price point. So let's go over the filters. What I really like about this design is that not only are these filters magnetic, 
but they cover all three lenses, giving you the freedom to choose each lens without having to remount the filter over your chosen lens. And I have to say, the magnetic system is impressive. These filters snap on and they're solid. For those of you who, who watch the channel, you know that I like pushing the boundaries shooting Pro Raw with the iPhone. And what I found is that even shooting in RAW on an iPhone, the images are usually too crisp and too sharp. The Snow Mist filter can actually help with this and was designed for diffusion and diffracting light, which helps soften the image somewhat. And this can be helpful with over sharpened iPhone images, even when shooting in RAW. So it's a very good general filter to just have on you. And again, covering all three lenses is a bonus. So let's take this lens off and let's look at the variable ND filter. Now one thing I want to make mention of is that these are some really nice caps for these filters, but you can't really identify what filter you're choosing because from the top there's nothing labeled and on the side there is no identification to find out what filter you have. And they do have several of these filters other than the two that I have. You have to take the cap off, which is really nice heavy duty rubber cap. Um, now you can identify on the, on the side of the, of the unit that, um, you know, what, what filter you're using here. The variable ND won the five stop was the filter I was most interested in. Not particularly for what it was designed for to control shutter speed when filming, but more so for making long exposures with still photography. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'll use this all day long when filming, especially with the ease of use here. Uh, I mean, this is such a nice design. But what I was excited about was shooting long exposures in Pro Raw, which cannot be done easily on the iPhone. Now, normally, you can turn on the live option on your iPhone, take your shot, and the built-in software offers a long exposure option afterward. But you cannot shoot both live mode and pro raw simultaneously on the iPhone. And therefore, you can't easily create long exposures when shooting pro raw without the use of filters. And this is where this filter shines. Now, I wish Freewheel offered a six to 10 stop, which would offer more flexibility for shooting outdoor long exposures but this is a new product and I'm guessing they'll expand the line and offer that filter in the future. Fingers crossed. Okay, so before we head out and try the ND filter, let's discuss Freewheel's approach to designing a grip for the iPhone. I have to say, I do love this option and what they've done with this design. It's quite nice. Now, this attaches to your phone by a spring-loaded clamp system. And Quite honestly, this is not my favorite method for mounting a phone, just because it's a bit cumbersome. And if you're not careful, your phone may go flying out of your hands before you actually get it locked in. You're accidentally pushing buttons on your phone. And then finally, you most likely have to fine tune the grip after all that is said and done to get it where it ergonomically feels best. Beyond that, once it's on, you'll feel confident that it's not going anywhere. The spring tension in this grip is strong and solid. And having that confidence can make a huge difference as to where your head is when you're trying to be creative. So with that said, this grip has a cold shoe mount and three quarter 20 threads on the top side. Uh, the lower side also has three quarter 20 threads and an Arca Swiss mount for easy tripod mounting. There's a Bluetooth enabled shutter button that is also removable for remote shooting or an alternative mounting location. And if that's not enough, this guy turns into a selfie grip and a selfie stick. That should cover most of your vlogging requirements for mounting and for moving and shooting. I should also mention, this grip can be used as a stand if need be. So let's head out to a local state park and attempt to create some long exposure shooting in Apple Pro Raw.